Steel Dragon Forge in here with 32, part 32 of Let's Play, Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, and that's the top of getting some treasure shards. Here we are at C, uh, Square C7, right about there on Headstone Isle. There's the actual island right back there, and we're at a submarine. If we go in here, there are some monsters and shit. You just drop in here, and an easy way to kill those is just with a quick, like that, just with a bunch of, there's a bunch of them in here, so I will be back when they're all dead. Alright, that was all of them. Yeah, so the easiest way to kill them all if off is just use a boomerang. Okay, so this is the first treasure chart of the video. Woohoo! Okay, after this, we're going to Windfall Island, though, right away. Because that's. Oh, fucking A, what the hell? The damn controller just, like, fucked up or something. We're going to Windfall Island after this, right away, because there's, like, seven Triforce. No, not Triforce charts. We already got all eight of those. There's like tre seven treasure charts there. My words are getting all tangled. I'm recording this at 11 in the morning. And I'm going to be recording till about 2 in the afternoon. Why I am doing this is because um, I just want to have a bunch of pre-recorded videos. I want to see how much of the game I could get done in a couple hours of recording. So I will meet you all back at Windfall Island. Alright, here we are at Windfall Island. I made it daytime again. It was nighttime, but... I want it to be daytime because I'm not sure if the thing I want to do actually works at night. I don't remember. Anyways, so what we're going to want to do is go to the cannon minigame back there. See, uh, like, around the first few episodes, I got a piece of heart here, I'm pretty sure. That you get a piece of heart for completing it the first time. The next time you complete it, you get a treasure chart. And if you beat your score after that, you get another treasure chart. So, I will be back when I get the first treasure chart. Alright, I won. Let's see. Do I get my treasure chart? See, and then the next time you have to beat your high score to get the next treasure chart. So let's see if I get one. Yay, I do get one. This is treasure chart number 7. The next one is number 23. So, I will be back when I get the next treasure chart. See, now I have to, like, shoot all the cannons in 19 tries. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I did it, finally. And it, uh, I got it in like 16 cannons that time. Anyways. Wait, what? 50 rupees, bitch? I thought I'm supposed to get another treasure chest for beating my high score. How dare they? Oh, wait, there we go. I was about to be like, Motherfucker, you better give me my treasure chart. Okay, anyways. So let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I say yeah like that, I just do. That's not how I really say yeah, but I like saying yeah like that. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go over here. Let's, um, I have to remember which way I have to blow the wind to get the damn windfall spinning. You know, you spin me right around, baby, right around, like a record, baby, right around, round, round. That whole deal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think it's northwest. I don't know. We'll find out. Alright, let's see. Is it? No, it's not. Fuck you, game. Well, I'll be back when I find the direction. Alright, it just turned out to be north. Simple enough, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Um... The reason you want to get that spinning is for a later kind of side quest. It's not really a side quest. Anyways, so I'm going to go to a secret spot above, like, Lenzo's pictograph thing, which you could get from from right here. So let's make the wind blow in the wind, blow in the direction of blink. Whatever. I can't get my words out right, right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, I guess that way. Whatever. It'll have to do. And jump. Wee. Okay. What? How dare you? Son of a bitch. Well, I guess I have to go and meet Lenzo first. I've never actually tried going in there before meeting him, though. So. Wait, do I have to go in there like at nighttime or something? I don't know. Eh, eh, man. I got a pictograph, man. What you think of it, man? E man, you like it? Aw, oh, man. Man, come on, man. You 
you gotta help me, man. Oh, then thank you. Uh, yes. So, after that, he says you could just come in and look at these pictures and shit. So, here's a bunch of pictures and shit. Yes. But that's not what we're coming here for. We are coming here for something else. So, I think that door should be opened now. Yeah. Yeah, these are some good pictures. Pictographs. Alright, so I will go back to that one place where I was. Alright. Yep. Yeah, you have to go talk to Lenzo first, and then it's unlocked. Okay, what we're coming here for is... Oh, there's just like one... Well, ten rupees. I was about to say like one rupees. But yeah, fucking never mind. Fucking never mind, Dad. Alright, in this one there's 50 rupees, but... In the next one there is... Okay, that was a little over enthusiastic of me right there. That was fake enthusiasm, by the way. Why the hell would I be so enthusiastic over a goddamn treasure chart? It's just a treasure chart. Okay, anyways, I don't even know what the for is for. Those are just random noises I make. That's like one of my nerd noises when I'm acting like a nerd. Anyways. So, let's get out of here. Okay. Yes, and then you see them two together, so let's get a picture. Upload it to a porn website. No, not really. That'd be really gross. <laughs> hey, you can't see me. Okay, anyways. Yeah. What? You don't you don't see shit. Huh? What you know you don't see nothing. Uh, I didn't do anything, I swear. I swear I didn't do anything, I swear. Okay. Let's get a picture of them. See they're they're just old friends. Yeah. Old friends. Right, no, don't say that one. Old friends is a good time by Simon and Garfunkel. Anyways. So what we need to take that photo for is for some two bitches that are gossiping. Right here. There they are. What's up, bitches? You old, ugly, fat bitches. Okay. Okay. But hey, 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 hey. I got, I got proof. Hey, bitch. Hey, no. Bitches, I got proof. I got proof. Do they not care that I have proof or something? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes. Can I have my damn treasure chart now? That would be nice of you two bitches. I don't even care what you're saying. Alright, there's another treasure chart. Woohoo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the next one is... Where is the next one? Let me think about that. Okay, I know where it is. So let's go. Let's go get that next treasure chart. But first things first, I'm gonna check how many I have out of 41. Alright, I have 22 out of 41. That is more than half of them now. Woohoo. So honestly, I do think I will get the rest of them by part 35. I'm at part 32 now. And yeah, I already got a shitload of treasure charts in this video. I guess. For one video, it's a shitload. And look, even if I would like started my let's plays back in like 2009 when videos were barely 10 minutes long I could have gotten like that much still before the 10 minutes was up anyway so you're gonna want to come in here and this is what you need 20 skull necklaces for there you go good sir even though you're a dick okay yes can I can I have just uh yeah so can I just have my treasure chart now and I'll be on my way there's the next treasure chart 23 out of 41 yeah, my woohoo's are really awkward, aren't they? Let's see what he has to say else. Yes, I know you were poor. You were that old pedophile. But now you're a rich man. Alright, actually what I'm gonna do next is get the deluxe picto box. And by okay, to do that, you have to go do these uh, this little side quest for Lenzo. And um, I'll explain on the way what you have to do. So let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. Let's see what this dude has to say. So can I have like a, yeah I'll be a research assistant, so could I have like a job or something? I, I need a job. I'm kind of getting short on rupees. Anyways. Okay. I'm not even going to show what he's saying. 
uh, what he's telling you is to take a picture of a guy putting a love letter into the mailbox. So let's go do that. And the dude that's going to put a love letter into the mailbox is Mario. So, okay, so don't be um, too close to him, and he'll start walking. And where he's going to walk to, he's going to go, I'll show the exact path. He's going to go, like, all down here, down here. No, fuck off, you little bastard. I don't want to talk to you, you mopey bitch. And he's going to go all the way down here. And then you're going to take a picture from right about here when he puts the letter in the mailbox. So, yes, I shall be back when he is over there. All right. So let's go for the picture now. And letter time. Yes. So let's take that back to Lundu. Um, It's a pretty easy side quest. And then we need to go all the way back in the forest haven for the very last thing. So, yeah, that's not, that's like probably the longest part of the whole side quest, just Forest Haven. Yeah. Okay, so let's show him the picture. That better be good enough for you, you prick. Oh, it is? Okay. Well, you're not a prick then. Anyways, can I have my next test, you bitch? Well, he's not a bitch. He's just a cool dude with a huge beard. Okay. This is easy. This one's really easy. We just need to go to the coffee shop and scare the shit out of this guy and take a picture of him. While he is scared. Girls. He'll be so scared that I'll be screaming, Yoshi! I like saying Yoshi like that. That was a little too high. Okay, whatever. I like doing Yoshi impressions. They're fun. Anyways. I would definitely let's play Yoshi Story, even though it looks like a game I would never play. I, I love that game; it's great. Okay, all right. So let's, let's, let's okay break the glass, and then look. He's like all scared and cowering and shit. Okay, there we go. That should be good enough. And if it's not good enough, well, oh, I can't take out my sword. Man, come on! In real life, you could take out your sword, but then you get kicked out. All right. Anyway. As I was saying, take off his, take off my sword and cut him a new asshole if he doesn't like the picture. Okay, no, not really. That would be just gross. But seriously, he better like the picture. I took my good damn time to fucking take it. He's gonna like it. Even though you can't see him. Is this good enough for you? Yes, it is. Yay. Alright, his last test. Wait, no, talk to him. Yes. Yes. Alright, so this one's easy too. If you know what you're doing. I guess. So. Um. I have to remember this dude's exact path also. Alright, so let's go find him. Okay, this dude right here. This dude with the hat. He's gonna start walking. And, uh. His path is gonna be like. Throughout here. Ow, my face. Okay, let's keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. And then he's going to go up the stairs, and then he's going to take a left. And then he's going to take a right. And then he's going to lock eyes with this girl right here, and that's what you need to take a picture of. So I will be back when he is all the way over here. Alright, here he is, coming up around the bend, I guess. Oh no. Eh, that better be good enough. I hope it is. Let's go check if it's good enough. Okay, yeah. Um, you have to talk to him like after this, and then I'll get like the courage to ask her out. But that's for a heart of peace. Heart of peace. What the hell? Peace of heart later. All right, it is good enough. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, I'm just reading. Yeah, we got a joy pendant for all of that. See, those three pictures that you have to take aren't worth the joy pendant, but it's worth it to get the deluxe pigdo box. So, uh, I will meet you all back at the Forest Haven. Alright, here we are at the, uh, the, uh, Forest Haven. So, this is like near the entrance or whatever. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to want to go to right over, um, right over here. And there's that little, you see that little floating light that is a forest bear, firefly. So let's take that back to Lenzo, in Windfall Island. Here we are back at Lenzo's. Uh, so let's show them the forest firefly. I just said firefly. Fuck. Firefly, goddammit. 
Yes, this is a fire. Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna say forest firefly anymore. There, he just puts a fucking firefly in our picture pictograph, and then we get a delic deluxe picture box. If you beat the game again, and like you restart on your restart file, like the second quest or whatever, then you, you start out with a deluxe picture box at the very beginning of the game. So let's get a really quick treasure chart. And then we're going to get another really quick treasure chart. Even though it's not really quick because the moon has to be really full. You know, it has to be a full moon, man. It has to be full. Anyways, so the deluxe picture box, we can take colored pictures now. Fuck off, you mopey bitch. Completely, I understand you. Okay, yeah. Okay, whatever. Okay, okay. Fuck off. So let's take a picture of this ugly bitch. Okay. There we go. Right. There you go, you ugly hoe. And she gives us a treasure chart. Anyways, so that what that uh, little mopey bitch over there wanted was to have a picture of the full moon. So let's uh, do that. So to make it nighttime, you just get the song of passing, and you can just make it nighttime all the way until it's a full moon in the sky. Um. So each each night. The moon goes up a quarter or down a quarter, if you know what I mean. I don't think you probably don't know what I mean, but whatever. So watch, you'll see what I mean. So let's uh, uh I could look in the sky. Let's go find the moon first, somewhere in the sky, obviously. Like all these goddamn buildings and shit are blocking the moon. Okay. It should be. I should be able to see it from over here. I think. Okay, where the hell is the goddamn moon? Really? I will find you, moon. You can't hide from me forever. See, look at that. It's only a fucking quarter moon. I will be back when that is a full moon. Snap. Okay, there's a full moon. Alright, let's take it back to that mopey bitch in the daytime. Alright. Alright, let's show him the picture of the full moon. And yeah, you have to do this with a deluxe pictograph. Anyway, so I am going to end this video off right here. In the next episode, we will get started off by getting, going to the auction house or whatever. And uh, getting two, well, getting one heart piece and two treasure charts there. So see you guys then.